everyone, my name is Angie. Welcome to my channel. On my channel, I like to do all things homemaking, especially cooking and decorating. And today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the new items that I bought for Christmas. Before I start, I just want to say that in no way do you have to have all these things in order for you to have a beautiful home. For many years, I made my own decorations. I worked with what I had, and our home was always pretty and cozy. And I always felt the magic of Christmas, even when we didn't have that much. And this is a compilation, like everything in my house is a compilation of things I've collected over the years. I had a home at age 20 and i've just been collecting for the past 30 years and this is the first christmas since we moved into this house it, uh, six and a half years ago this is our seventh christmas here but it's the first christmas that i've really bought things for the inside of this house since we've lived here outside of our christmas tree and so this is also our first year being empty nesters all of our kids have moved out and so this was a year that I kind of wanted to go through all my Christmas decor, decide what I wanted to keep and what I don't want anymore, and maybe give some to our kids and some I'm just going to give away. I just thought this would be a good year to just kind of refresh the look of our home during the holidays. We do live in a colonial style home. Our neighborhood is like colonial Williamsburg looking with the lamp posts outside and everything and I love I love the look of that. And so I am incorporating a little bit of that Colonial Williamsburg look with the plaid and the fruit and stuff that you see in a lot of the wreaths and garlands and things. So I've been wanting to do that for a while and this year I'm gonna do some of that. First I'm gonna show you what I bought at different stores besides Hobby Lobby and then after I show you that then I'll show you what I got at Hobby Lobby because I got the most stuff at Hobby Lobby because their prices are just so good and they have a huge selection there. So I'm going to start out with showing you what some of the things I got at TJ Maxx first. So I found these beautiful red balls that have kind of a silver and white design on them. And I think I'm gonna use this in our bedroom. And this year's the first time that we decided to get a tree for our bedroom. We got a seven foot pencil tree. And so, and it's gonna go in between our windows. And so I'm gonna, I think use this on those trees, on that tree. And then I found this very traditional looking nutcracker this year at Marshalls or Home Goods. And this was $12. And this was $12.99 also. And then I, at Home Good, I found these towels that I'm going to use up in the guest bathroom upstairs. I like them because they are a little thicker than kitchen towels are and they've got trees and reindeer on them. And then I also found these drying mats that I really like to have in the kitchen at uh, Home Good also. And then I found this cute vintage looking deer there that I'm gonna use in my guest bathroom. I'm kind of doing a vintage theme in there this year. found this candy cane candle, which I love the peppermint smell. And then I went to Walmart and I found these cute ornaments that are blue and they have Santa sleigh on them. And I'm gonna, I'm planning on using those in our guest room upstairs. And then I also found this wreath at Walmart to replace my other wreath, and this was 
and the greenery is really pretty on it. So, and I am gonna add some things to that wreath just to make it look more Colonial Williamsburg looking. And then I also found these bulbs at Walmart, which I think are beautiful, kind of champagne colored. And I like all the, the variety that it has in the style and in the patterns on them. So I went ahead and grabbed those and those I might use throughout the house. And then I found this plaid tablecloth that I'm gonna replace my old one with for our kitchen. And I like that it's the traditional red and green and white. And then at the at-home store, I found this tree that I'm gonna use on a bedside table for $6. And then I also found this picture at the at-home store. And I like how traditional looking it is, which I may either use in here or in one of the bedrooms upstairs. Well, we went to Dollywood, and I like to collect ornaments on our trips, and I found this ornament at Dollywood, so we got that. And then at Costco's this year, I found this extra long garland, or not Costco, at Sam's Club. I found this nine foot garland that I'm planning on using in the kitchen, which it's hard to find a garland that's this full and this, this length. also has the lights on it. And then another thing I like to get when I'm at Sam's Club, and I know Costco's has it also, are their ribbons. And they had this really pretty ribbon there, Tis the Season. I was looking for a ribbon that had a message on it. So I'm going to be using that on my garland. We also had this traditional plaid ribbon. The thing I wanted to do this year is replace all the ribbons on the outside wreaths and on the inside of the house, so I got that. And I also found this really pretty poinsettia ribbon. And this other type of plaid ribbon and this deer ribbon, which I think I'm going to use in our bedroom on our tree. But I also like having ribbon to wrap gifts with. And at Hobby Lobby, they also had these stems for $1.50. This was all on sale. And it kind of goes match blends in with the tree. So I'm gonna use these on my ribbon to tie them onto the tree with. And you could probably even cut these in half because you probably don't need them this long. So I got these to do my ribbons with. And then we have a little boutique near our house. And so I found this cute nativity scene there. I thought it'd be cute on an end table. And then you can put a candle in the back of it. So I got, got that and I got this little tree there to kind of sit next to it like that. And then at Hobby Lobby. I had looked at buying, I know there's a trend out where a lot of people are buying the real fill type garlands and things. I did find one at, at Home Good, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it to be honest with you. Um, this was $30. And it's not really that full, really. And it doesn't really go with the rest of my personal stuff. So I ended up going to Hobby Lobby. And I know this isn't as realistic looking, but it's a lot fuller looking and it has pine cones and berries on it and it goes with other things in my house. And 
So I kind of had to ask myself, do I want it to look real or do I just want it to look pretty? And do I want to redo all the greenery in my house just to get it to look more real? And when it came down to it, I just want it to look pretty. I mean, I don't really care if it looks real. So, I mean, to me, this looks real enough. <laughs> and I don't know, I guess I'm just a stickler for the tradition. And to me, this just reminds me of a vintage Christmas. And I actually paid half the price as that one, and it's a lot fuller than that one. So I just got two of those. I kind of like all my greenery to match and kind of be cohesive throughout the house. I'm also going to be putting some of my own things on those garland, like my own ribbon and probably some fruit and things. I also found this one at Hobby Lobby. Which I think I'm going to use in one of the bedrooms. Which this one's pretty full and it has some gold in it. So I'll be using that. And then I have this Santa statue that I think I'm going to use in my kitchen on top of my china cabinet. Which I don't have any, I don't have much of anything with Santa on it. And I just love Santa stuff. It just reminds me of childhood. It reminds me of just the traditional magic of Christmas. And I found this at Hobby Lobby for $25. So I thought that was a good price, but I like him because he's just the traditional looking Santa. So I got him. And then I found this belief sign that I wanted to put next to him. I thought that would be cute. Then on our main Christmas tree, which in our family room we have a nine foot Christmas tree because we have high ceilings in there. And that tree is what I call the family tree because it's all of our kids' handmade ornaments. It's got all of our, you know, over the years memory type ornaments of places we've gone and different things we've, different Christmases from, you know, throughout our married life. And so I kind of wanted to put this on our main tree, kind of in the middle. So we'll see how that looks. And then I bought these for the tree in our bedroom. So I did get these uh, berry balls to kind of go along with the fruit thing that we're doing. And then I got this star for the top of the tree in our bedroom at Hobby Lobby. And I got this to put in my kitchen window. And I got this to put somewhere near our nativity that I put out every year, which I always put mine on the fireplace hearth. I like to have it next to the Christmas tree and so I'll probably have this over near there somewhere. And then I bought this tree and this deer for our bedside table. And this garland's for the guest bathroom where that kind of vintage looking deer is going to be. And then I got this for the guest bathroom also. Kind of vintage -y. And I think I'm gonna use these bell garlands I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think I'm gonna use them to kind of hang above our windows. So I got two of those. And then I got these stars for the tree that goes in our bedroom. And this star garland, that's really pretty. I think 
this is gonna go in one of the bedrooms. And I got these to hang on my front doors in the kitchen. I got two of those. smaller Merry Christmas signs for the other trees that we have. And then I found this pillow at Hobby Lobby. For $20. It's got beading on it and stuff. Which will go on one of the beds. picture that I actually saw and didn't get and then I ended up going back and getting it because I think I'm gonna put it above our bed in our room but I love the gold lettering on it with the traditional Christmas colors. And then I found these trees. I got two of these from Hobby Lobby and these were six dollars each. So, and they're probably 24 inches tall. So I got two of those for $6. And then I got some of these berry picks to go on the tree. And I got these fruit topiaries. go along with the Colonial Williamsburg theme. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it maybe gives you some inspiration of what you want to do or some new ideas of ways you can use some of the things you have and incorporate maybe some new items to that. I hope you have a lot of joy this season. I do feel like our surroundings have a lot to do with how we feel and you know, it makes a difference. Even the Christmases where we were struggling financially and, you know, we were having a hard time making ends meet, we still always decorated the outside of our house. Uh, even if it was just a little bit, we decorated, we did what we could because it brought joy to us and it brought joy to our neighbors. Just do what you feel like you can do because I really feel like it'll help you get into the holiday spirit. I really feel like it helps you enjoy the holidays more. It makes it more special, but just don't get in the mindset where you have to have certain things. I mean, our Christmas tree quit working last year. We had it for five years and the lights quit working on it. We're still using the same tree. We're just putting different lights on it. Um, just be you. That's all you have to do is just be you and do what brings you joy. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. I thank you for watching this video, and if you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving me a thumbs up. I'll be back. I'm excited to decorate, and I'll see you next time. Bye.